everybody welcome back to the channel my name is jose but you can call me juice and i hope y'all are having a great motherfucking planty day so today we're just going to be doing some plant chores the other day i asked you guys what type of planty videos you prefer watching the most and those who voted said they wanted plant chores so I'm gonna give the people what they want. <laughs> if that sounds like something you wanna watch me do, please make sure to stick around. And if you have any plant chores to do yourself, feel free to complete those while you watch this video. Anyways, before we get into all of that, if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely think about checking out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. Also, don't forget to leave me a like and a comment on this video because it really helped my channel out and I'd also really appreciate it. But anyways, let's just get right into these plant chores. All right, guys, so the first thing on the agenda today is to pot up these philodendron silver sword cuttings. I think they're definitely ready for some soil. So I am just going to be adding these cuttings back with the mother plant over there who is on a moss pole so that I can have a much fuller plant and have some more vines growing up the pole. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is the mother plant and we're literally just going to pop those cuttings in right here towards the bottom of the moss pole. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, but let's go ahead and start with this cutting right here. It honestly doesn't have as many roots as I thought it did, but I'm still going to pot it up because I feel like it will be just fine. So I'm just digging a little hole. And let's go ahead and add this girly in there. I need a deeper hole. <laughs> All right, guys. So here is that first cutting that I just potted into here. Hopefully she'll do well. I think she will. But anyways, let's go ahead and pot up the next cutting. So this next one, I think I'm going to plant on like the opposite side of the other one. So like right about here. This next cutting even has a new leaf coming out right now. And she has tons of roots. So she's definitely ready to be potted up. All right, and now that I have both of the cuttings potted back with the mama plant, let's go ahead and give them a quick little water. So I'm just going to reuse the water they were propagating in just so it doesn't go to waste. I just realized I don't have a drainage tray under this pot right now, so <laughs> it's probably going to drain onto my desk, isn't it? All right, guys, what do you think? I think it turned out super cute and I'm excited to watch these propagations continue to grow. But yeah, anyways, on to the next plant chore. All right, and while we're on the topic of repotting things, we are going to be repotting my philodendron silver stripe, who honestly, I feel like I don't really talk about too much on this channel. But y'all, she's doing really good these days. She's putting out tons of these beautiful new leaves for me. So I do have some cuttings right here as well. And I think some of them are definitely ready to pot up. So the ones that are ready, I think I will be potting back with the rest of the plant. And then maybe some other ones I'll pot up on their own so that I can grow them separately. But I will be transferring this plant into a self-watering setup because why not? <laughs> Literally all my plants in the self-watering setups are thriving and you know I just want to add another one to the family. So I already have some LECA at the bottom of this old parmesan container but honestly I do want a little bit more of a reservoir. So I do have some leftover glass rocks or whatever you call these. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to this one because even though it's not the same type of rock, it'll do the same thing. And now we have a much nicer looking reservoir down there. Let's start on the repot. All right, so first things first, we are going to be taking the plant out of its pot. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm excited to see what these roots are looking like because this plant has been in this little like Baskin Robbins container 
for a while now. So let's see what this root system is looking like. So she definitely has a decent root system and I think she's really going to appreciate the self-watering pot because honestly, I sometimes forget to water this plant so she goes a little thirsty sometimes. But now that she's gonna be in here, she's just gonna freaking thrive and go crazy or at least hopefully she will. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add some soil in here real quick. I'm honestly not gonna mess with the root system too much. And before we continue with the repot, let's go ahead and check in on some of these cuttings real quick. So I definitely see some roots on the bottom of the container. So I think we should be able to repot some of these. Let's see what we got going on. Oh my God. Is this all one thing? This is all just one strand and it has tons of roots. Um, it does look like it's kind of reverting though back to just a regular green philodendron. So I don't know if I really want to add that. Let, let me see what my other options are first. So this one has a nice root, but not enough. This cutting has some decent roots on it and some nice variegation. So I think I will be potting this one up with the rest of the plant. This vine has a ton of roots as well. The new leaf does have a little stripe on it. So a lot of these were definitely less rooted than I was hoping they'd be, but we at least got one that I'm going to repot. Um, I'm still kind of deciding, maybe I'll repot this one too. Might as well. All right, so now that we got our cuttings that we're going to be adding, let's go ahead and add them with the rest of the plant. All right, and now I'm gonna fill the rest up with some soil. All right, guys, so I just finished repotting her. I'm really looking forward to seeing how she's going to fill out the self-watering pot and also just how she's going to do. Yeah, wish her luck. And y'all will definitely see some updates on her in the future, but let's move on. Next up, we are going to be chopping and rearranging my super long philodendron micans and my syndapsis exotica, I think. So I just want to prune them back so that they can, you know, grow a little fuller. And then we will also be propagating the cuttings I take. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so for my Syndapsis Exotica, she really only has this super long strand down here that goes all the way to the freaking floor. Um, and it has this super long runner, but I think I'm just gonna chop her to a similar length as these other vines, so... Bam. Now we got this super long vine to propagate. It's like a little scarf or whatever. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do the same exact thing to my philodendron micans. So I actually have her just like placed on the wall on a nail right here because I was kind of hoping she'd start like climbing up the wall or something. All right. So here's one super long cutting. Oh my God, we're gonna be able to make so many plants from this. And then we still have another super long vine to cut. Oh my God, she's so short now. Hopefully she enjoys her haircut. All right, and now that we're done cutting these lovely plants, I am just going to rearrange them really quick because I kind of want my philodendron micans to be getting more light than my syndapsis. So I think I'm literally just going to like swap their places. So let me take this girly down real quick. I'm actually going to cut this again. So yeah, I think my Mikeans is definitely going to be able to get lots more light now. I'm excited to watch these plants continue to grow. All right, guys, let's go ahead and deal with all of these cuttings. So we're going to start with this Syndapsis Exotica vine. So I don't really feel like propagating all of these empty nodes. So I'm just going to cut those right off and throw them in the trash. 
And then for the rest of these, I am just gonna cut them in between the nodes so that we can, you know, have several different cuttings. All right, so I was able to get five different cuttings out of that. Now we need to deal with all of these philodendron micans cuttings. And since I have so much of them, I'm probably just gonna time lapse this part. So here we go. <laughs> All right guys, so we just finished taking all of the cuttings, but I am just going to be water propagating these. So I already have some cups ready. And now we just need to fill these up with some water. So right here, I have an old Coca-Cola bottle full of some tap water. And now I am going to be adding some Super Thrive. And now that that's all in there, let's go ahead and give this a good shake. And now I'm going to put the water into these cups. All right. And now that we got all these cups of water, let's go ahead and add some cuttings into them. All right guys, so I finished getting all of the cuttings situated. So hopefully they all have an easy time rooting up, but I think that's actually going to end this video. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. These were just a couple of things I had been thinking about doing. So I was like, might as well get them done and bring you guys along with me. But don't forget to leave me a like or a comment on this video. And if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely think about checking out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. And if you'd like to see more of me and my plants, I do have a TikTok by the same username. So if that sounds interesting, check that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my Saturday. And I hope you guys can too. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.